What's up? What's up? What's up with it? Y'all had to uh, kind of stop by and uh, talk about this mushroom experience because last night I was gonna I was gonna do the uh, the three point five last night, but I decided because you know my girl was like, uh, "You want to have a drink?" and I'm like, "Oh man!" I'm like, "Yeah, okay." So like once we started drinking. I said, I'm, you know, because I'm gonna be drinking with her, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take all the mushrooms. I said I'm only take like 1.5. I think I took more than that though, but it was, it wasn't too much over one gram. And I said, uh, you know, I ain't gonna, they're not gonna do nothing because you know it's, it's just gonna be like a micro dose just to have me to where you know. I probably can drink a little more or something like that. At least that's what I thought. And then, man, oh my God, when the mushrooms kicked in, bro, I said, I said, my mind must be wide open or something. Cause I don't get it. I, I like, I take mushrooms, I get visuals. There's nothing, there's no, you know, what, there's no nothing outside of that. I get visuals. And I don't know if it was the fact that we was talking about the mushroom entities last night. Or the other day when Blue Bottle was here, we was talking about the mushroom entities and I was able to meet these weird mushroom entities that like I some were like twisted like ribbons and they was like brown and black. They look like some type of in insectoid creature and then it's these uh it's these other ones that that just look they look evil. It, like, it reminded me of, like, some predator type shit, like the way their eyes look. But then the, this creature had, like, these fangs that, that was like this. You feel me? It was, like, hella weird. But, like, those were my visuals, like, the whole time. And it's, it's fucking crazy because, like, like, what Blue Bottle was saying made sense. It made sense when she said, you know, have you ever asked them, what do I look like? I didn't ask them, what do I look like? It was like, what are you? Like, what are you? And then it was like this organism type creature. It looked like some weird organism and it took me, bro. And it was answering all my questions. And like, it, I'm like, the reason I'm mad because it was like I was with this thing for a whole lifetime. I was with this, this organism for a whole lifetime as this organism is explaining things to me and showing me different things. And I'm like, oh, okay, all right. That's why this is like this. Oh, that's why this is this. And, whoop -de -whoop. and he's showing me all these different things. And I'm telling you, bro, for, for uh, 45 minutes, this place did not exist. I was there. I was there. I was being that like I get to those modes to where because like at first I was I kept going outside and like it's something about the stars, the way the stars shine and kind of remind me of certain, you know, people when they talk about the stars, like even like in the in in the so-called Bible or whatever, where they talk about they follow the star or when people see that Anunnaki thing in the, the sky, like you see the stars shine like these beings or something you feel me and like i went outside and i'm trying to because it was a full moon and i wanted to see the moon i wanted to do different things i wanted to see outside kind of going crazy but the dose i took it only made the stars change the moon didn't change but every time i closed my eyes i got visuals like the whole sky looked like like a flower of life like you can see the designs in it and it was like draped over, but it was like kind of weird, you know, cause you, cause in the night when you look up, you, it looked like how a flower would come. Like when they do the, uh, the Mandelbrot or whatever they want to call it. And it, and it come out, start from little and go big. You feel me? It looked like that. And I'm like, kind of just geeking off of it, but I was just tripping off the fact that the only time I seen something is when I closed my eyes. So like I'm outside, I'm geeking outside and I'm trying to, you know, see stuff and it wasn't working. But when I stand outside and I close my eyes, boom, I start getting visuals of, you know, little symbols and signs and stuff like that. And then it'll take me deeper and deeper and deeper. So basically what I went and did, I just went, like I'd be telling everybody, I went, I laid in the bed, 
got under my blankets, you feel me, and I let it take me. And that's how I got to that one place. Like, I let it take me. I didn't, you know, I wasn't, you know, doing all types of things. I did for a while, but I thought because basically I thought it was going, I didn't think it was going, I didn't think it was going to come on like that because it was only a little bit. You feel me? Plus, plus, I was drinking. You feel me? So I was thinking, even if it did come on, it wasn't going to last that long, bro. I was up to like five in the morning, four in the morning, like really tripping, like laying in the bed, really like in that place. And it was like kind of crazy because as I'm in this place, and it's weird because it's and like, this is what makes me mad though, is because I'm in this place. I'm getting shown by this 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 organism. I, I I can't recall what this thing looked like. I've been trying to think of it since I woke up, even when I came out of it, because this is what messed it up. When I'm there being this organism, I get a a shake, and I'm like, when I get shook, I, I come out of my my trance, and I'm looking, and my girl is like, uh, is you okay? And she got up just to go to the restroom, like out of her sleep and woke me up. But it snatched me all the way out to where once I started talking to her, my whole everything that I was just seeing, it just like kind of just started to dissolve. I didn't have time to grab it because I'm like trying to think what these organisms look like. You know what they look like, you know, and and what type of place was it that I was in? Because Bro, I was there for a lifetime and I was experiencing life as whatever this organism was because I wanted to know like all type of shit, like, you know, not not just not people like I didn't fuck people. I didn't want to know about the human origin. I wanted to know about that and what I was seeing. So these entities like all the ugly, bro, I'm telling you, I'm not like when it comes to diving in with psychedelics, bro. You can be scared if you want to. It's nothing to be scared of. I don't care how ugly it get, bro. You cannot be scared. And sometimes I was still getting to that point of when it got scary, you 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 know, your mind to kind of sometimes try to think, you know, like evil or, you know, demons or, you know, it's it tries to, it does think these things. So me being me, I just was like, well, okay, show me the evil shit. I don't care. You feel me? Cause I'm I'm already I'm a, I already then gave in, I gave in so it don't matter what I see it's not gonna spook me it's not gonna take me out of context or make me get scared it's not gonna do none of that to me so like even when it was showing me all the scary stuff and I'm seeing these creatures with these weird teeth and you know eyes and you know it was like these weird ass uh, you know they look like like I I want to say a centipede type creature, but no, it wasn't a centipede. It, you know, it, it was a wow, it was some wild creatures, bro. It was some wild creatures and I wasn't scared, but I kind of, at the time when I was in there, I kind of wanted to see the ugly stuff. I wanted to see ugly stuff. I didn't want to, you know, cause like hey, everybody want to have these beautiful trips. Oh, you know, cause we always looking for something to save us. One thing the mushrooms told me last night is, Ain't shit gonna save you from this. From this life that you live in right now, nothing's gonna save you. Stop looking for something to save you and take you through and help you. You know, all things are gonna do is make the life a little bit easier on you. That's it. That's what uh, the information, anything, all that shit is just gonna make life a little bit easier on you. It's just gonna make, it's gonna change your mind to where you look at life a little bit different. But it's not going to fucking hold your hand. It's not going to help you. It's not going to make things uh, better and all these different things. Life is still going to be the same. I don't give a fuck what information you got. Life is going to be the same. The only thing that's going to change is your perspective of life. And it was showing me this, bro. And I'm like looking and I'm going, yeah, you know, like this is crazy because, because, you know, when I die, you know, I, that's what I'd be looking to do sometimes. I'd be looking to change things in my life or fix things or, you know, do these old weird things that, you know, I feel like are just selfish. They're selfish because, you know, things are what it is. You got to accept it. 
everything you don't gotta accept, but it's still all the mind thing. And it's like, nothing is gonna be able to come and save you from living life. Life is being life right now as it is. And it's like, nothing is gonna come and save you. So there's no use of you looking for something to come and save you from something you can't be saved from. You feel me? You can call it a trap. You can call it whatever you want. I don't care what you call it. There's nothing that's going to come and save you from this right now. The only thing your perception is going to do is make the ride a little bit easier. You feel me? So the best thing for us to do is enjoy the ride. You feel me? Enjoy the ride because I don't know, bro. And that, that was like, it kind of geeked me out because like I'm going, it got, you know, I, 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 me, myself, personally, I feel like I know that life is many things and we transition and transform because I feel like we, this is like the formless. So it can change and it can shape and it can be anything. You feel me? So I feel like that's what we try to do. We try to change everything into way the way we want it. We try to form it and shape it into the way that we want it. But then you got these other ones out there that try to make it seem like, okay, if you got this, it's going to help you get to here. And it's like, no, it's just going to help change your perception on how you see things. That shit is not going to save you. It's not going to save you from no, uh, I, so you, you can say what you want, but you know, it's none, none of this shit is <laughs> going to save you from what's going on and what life is. Nothing is going to take you away from that. You know, it's going to help change your perception of how you view it or how you look at life. But nothing is not, not ain't no spaceship going to come down here and fucking rescue your ass. You know, this is not you no know, Cinderella story. This is the story. You feel me? This is the story of everything happening. And it's showing me this. And I'm like, going, ah. you know, sometimes you just be like, it kind of throws you off, bro. And, and like, uh, you know, I tried to call uh, Master Creator last night. But, you know, when I'm tripping, sometimes I can barely talk. I was like geeked out and like I'm going and this is the thing I ask myself because I don't get it because everybody, you know, they take 10 grams, five grams and they don't get visuals. They don't see nothing. And like I'm going, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like me, I get micro dose and I'll get visuals just for micro dosing. So it's like it was kind of crazy that I even took like I only took like a gram. Couldn't have been, hey, it couldn't have been no more than 1.5 grams. 1.5 grams, but visuals the whole time, the whole night. I'm talking visuals. I'm talking about when I laid down and I dove, bro, I was gone. I had the music playing. Every time I closed my eyes and I laid down, I was gone. This place wasn't in existence. Like sometimes it existed, but a lot of times it didn't because. You watching all this shit come out and you feel me? And it's like pulling you in, but it's like these weird, like insect creature looking type things that, that, you know, they, it's weird because if you take, uh, uh, what, what can I think, uh, that, 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 that will look like it. Okay. Those, uh, those Chinese things where you stick your finger in and you go like that and your fingers get stuck in it like picture those with heads on them but they brown and black you feel me but the body is not all the way circle going down the body is like triangles like a triangle connected to a triangle connected to a triangle connected to a triangle and it go black white black brown and like the flip side of the triangle will be brown the other side will be black but it was like that bro and like i don't know what these damn creatures is but you can see their face because they kind of got like whiskers and you feel me <laughs> it's like hell crazy they kind of got like these little whiskers and they got these brown like eyes but you can see them bro you can see them and you like going I don't know what kind of creatures they were, but even the ones that were like these weird organisms, bro, they was showing me, they was like, you know, it was like one organism showing me the ropes. And it was like, I was there for, I was there for a long time. And I was just basically 
trying to be whatever they were. I was trying to find out or figure out what they were or how they place work. And it, it's explaining this shit to me. And it was like a, a lifetime. It was a lifetime. But when she woke me up, bro, it like kind of took it all away. And like right then, right then I said, I said, but that's, that's how I know. I said, man, you can live a lifetime in many different places in your mind or, you know, whatever. And you won't notice it because it, it like you can live it in your mind and be there and function as a whole different being and live your whole life as that being and then wake back up here and forget that you even did that. Like it probably happened many a times when we sleep. We don't know. We go to so many different places when we dream and stuff like that. But this I'm telling you, I live. It was so long. And this thing was taking me around to where when I when I when she woke me up, I was I started to fade out. But like I'm fading out of that back into this. But that was still kind of existing until I started talking here, because here as I'm there, it was no here. I was too. I was so busy being that this didn't matter. This didn't matter. And I think that's what it is, is is uh being able to let go of what you think this is Be if you can let this go that's when you can travel but we can't let this go we gotta hold on we hold on to everything that's here we hold on to the ones that we love the ones we hate the ones we close to you know our homes our bodies you feel me that's another thing i was geeking off of is the fact of the body bro uh, of the body and what the body was bro we we not this we not this whatever i was something else and i was and i because i kept i kept saying you know like you know like wait hold on bro i am not this body i am not this so like where am i what am i and where am i projecting from so i just know i was somewhere else and i was looking at my body standing there and i'm just going like you know what is that thing and why do it have all these layers whatever is putting on like why does it have all that stuff in this pocket you feel me what is this creature right here it was like kind of trippy man this was a this was a dope trip but i you know i don't i don't really want to uh i don't you know at, at the time like i don't want to too much trip psychedelics no more like you know because like sometimes like uh like i hate getting to the point to where you know, my body kind of, you know, you don't have full control over your body. Your body just kind of, uh, you be talking like you slurring, like you drunk. Your words don't come out right. You feel me? You feel all discombobulated. You feel me? And like, that's how I was. Like last night, I felt like hella discombobulated. So I said, damn, I said, I'm going to take that next trip of them last ones. But I don't know when it's going to be, bro. I don't know when it's going to be. But all I can say is you got to learn how to let go. Like when they say uh, set and setting, I think it's more of a mind thing. It's a mind thing. It's always because everything is in the mind. So if your mind is set and your mind is right, it's so easy to travel. Bro, I think it's a, and, and it's an art to doing this. It's just. You feel me? It's an art to tripping mushrooms. It's just, it's just an art to it. It's an art to it. And once you learn it, it's just automatic. You don't have to go like, like I remember, I can remember times when, back in the days when I used to uh, let go in the beginning. I always go, well, I'm going to let go. And I'll say it in order so it'll happen. That, that's another thing I was seeing. I was seeing how... Uh, how our words and things we say create what is on the outside. It's like kind of weird. I was seeing all type of weird. We, I was seeing all type of weird stuff, bro. But I'm like, it's an art to tripping. And once you get it down, you'll be able to navigate a lot better. You'll stop really trying to navigate, but you'll kind of start letting go of this. Because once you go in, we try to stay tethered to whatever this is. We try to keep that line in there. So we know we coming back right here. But when you let go, this shit don't exist. This shit is nothing. This shit is a, that's it. It doesn't exist. It can exist right now. Take a deep trip. You'll forget about this. You'll be there being whatever that is. Cause it was times I was being in, in certain places 
being certain people and like this did just this just wasn't a thing this wasn't a thing and like if that if it's that easy to leave this behind it's like it's that easy to leave this behind and just go you feel me it may seem hard right now but it's easy because that's what you do anyway whether you believe you do or not this is easy but yeah, that was my mushroom experience last night. And I uh, thank everybody for do joining the channel and for being here. You know, if you want to support the channel, you already know how. If not, hey, who cares? You feel me? But thanks for the support. The ones that do support, I thank you. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep this thing going. But uh, I have to just come and share that before I do the live. I'm going to post this video. So uh, see you soon. Peace out.